session one on semi-final Saturday. We've brought you those results so far. Matsumoto and Nagahara safely through. Fukushima and Hirota will be the team that they play in the women's doubles final tomorrow. Mixed doubles, right. So we have one team through in Wang and Huang. What about from the very top of the draw? Will it be Zheng Suwei and his partner, Huang Yichong? Or will it be their opponent, Zhang Nan or, and Li Yinhui? That's where we are. Just uh, who will get through out of the all-Chinese semi-final match up next? For the all-Chinese final, it's just been a, a sea of red China flags, hasn't it? Through the business end of this event, as always, so strong throughout most disciplines, the Chinese. They've, uh, Normally, the mixed doubles is the distinction of throwing up winners from a diversity of nations, but this uh, category has had winners from six nations recently. Uh, we will see new champions as a result of uh, either retired or players declining invitations. But the front runners here, you have to say, Zheng and Huang as the top seeds in this event. There they are on the left there. World rank two up against the 16th rank, which doesn't really seem that fair, Mort, does it? A, a fair justification of the rankings of Zhang Nan and Li? Ah, I would say yes. I would say they, the, the thing is that Zhang Nan is, uh, is a, very, a very, very strong performer when it matters. And you have to take that into account when, when we go into these world championships, we go into the All Englands, we go into the Olympics, we go into the year-end finals and so on. That's when he's good. He's always good at producing the right stuff at the right time. And here, once again, he's proved that, yes, he's 16 on the world ranking in this mixed doubles combination, but suddenly here he's standing in that semi-final, beating number four. Brings it. Yeah. So, uh, he can produce it on the day, I am sure he can, but uh, is it enough to beat this uh, pair in red? It's quite tricky because uh, I think they have performed extremely steadily. So just behind the scenes footage then of what will be up next. Yeah, we'll wait for court one, awaiting for our players to walk on court. The world is waiting. Come on, get on with it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are dying on the, of anticipation to have to walk on court. As are all of the fans that have been made to wait. It's a terrific turnout on semi-final Saturday from fans' perspective. People viewing as well, of course, footage of this from all over the world, we hope, or well, we know. And the uh, court officials out first, followed by the athletes and their mascots hand in hand. Lovely moments, these, and hopefully, those lit least stars of the future, who knows? But it's very, very inspirational. And when you're young, these kind of moments can really draw you and keep you in the sport. Look at that, isn't it lovely? It is lovely. It's really nice. So I, I can tell you that back in 1987, I played the World Championship final in, uh, in Beijing. And you say there's a lovely crowd and all that, but I'm telling you, there were 15, 16,000 people indoor stadium when we played that match. Here on the too? I, I would say so, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that was fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way it is. There's the man of experience who's going for the double, hunting down two titles here, still very active in the men's doubles as well as this mixed event. The Greyhound lean. First meeting, strangely, between these two teams. Being so experienced that it is quite unusual. Huang Yachong, I think, is elected to serve. Receive, which court? Straight 
faced. Beg your pardon, Lee Yin Wee. Elected servant, Quang Pichong. Choosing ends. It's always the women that have the last say, isn't it, more than Same in my marriage. <laughs> yeah, that's the standard joke, isn't it? But, uh, hopefully it's a 50-50 situation. Nan, as we take a look at his profile, how experienced he is. The 28-year-old now from Beijing, born and bred. Ranking of 60, which uh, complexes some of us. 1 meter 84 tall. Only played seven tournaments together this season, these two. Let's so take a look at Li Yinhui, the 21-year-old, just seven years younger. 172, born in Wuhan, resides in Beijing. and they have been as high as third in the world together, these two. As I say, they've played seven tournaments so far, and that's their route through. 15 and 6 they are so far this year, including the wins here. And as you can see, look at the form they're in. All straight games safely through inside. Well, no more than 53 minutes, that's quite emphatic. Taking out your Danish mates, Morton, in the last match on Friday. They did, and uh, it was a very good second game. It got close, uh, but the Danes lost it, but it was a very good match to watch. One of their opponents, this man who's been at the top of the tree and pretty much still is. They're ranked two in the world at the moment. Seeded one here, Chen Siwei, 21 year old Zhijiang. Been right at the top of the game, and his partner, who always to me looks a little bit tense and stone faced, Juan Yachong, 24 years old, from the same birthplace as her partner today. 27 and 4, their wins. They've done a lot of winning this year. Five big titles to their names, two runner up showings as well, and two semi finals. So, always at the sharp end of these kind of tournaments, and again, like their opponents, emphatic route here. Relatively comfortable passage, having received a, an opening round by. Without everything just uh, on or around, or just over the half hour mark for the two in red, so should be a real treat of match to watch. Perhaps not as lopsided as the one that we just witnessed. No, definitely not. This uh, this match can uh, be going the full distance. It can be really tight and close, and uh, we will probably watch uh, summer. Very, very good badminton here. And the team on the right, of course, Shane and Huang. Well, they paired up late last year and immediately struck gold, winning three titles in a row. Yeah, they did. They won the Macau, the China, and the Hong Kong Open. Just the three <coughs> first ones they were playing. And, you know, we were all sort of, wow. This is fantastic, but what was really amazing was that uh, Siwei and her, his former partner, they mixed up with Chen Chen Chen. Chen yeah. They were number one in the world. Ya Qing was number two in the world with Liu Kai. So China had number one and number two, and they were winning kind of all the tournaments, and suddenly they swapped the two partnerships. So I think they felt that Siwei here probably would have played even stronger part in the mixed doubles with uh, Ya Chong next to him. And then I think they wanted to save and spare Chen Chin Chen in, uh, in the mixed doubles and therefore, uh, sorry, in the, in, in the women's doubles and take her out of the mixed doubles. Right. Yeah. So she was only concentrating on, on one event. Right. Right. And uh, that has not worked so well because they lost the quarters yesterday, didn't they? On my right. They did, absolutely. Susan right Taylor in the chat. And Lee. Keeping a grip China. of this one from Australia. And, on my left, and the Vietnamese Zing service judge, Wang Chong, Mr. China. Nguyen. Li and we serve to Zhang Siwei. Love all. Second China. mixed double semi finals just about to get underway. Blistering. He might not be the tallest man on court, but 
by golly, can he absolutely nail an overhead? Jiang Siwei. Side. Still, he then gave away the initiative, the attack came, but look at that cross-court defensive shot he played, opening up for good attack and won it on the first one. He's not one of the hardest hitters, definitely not, but uh, he's fast, he understands the game extremely well. We should mention that Chang Nang is also defending champion in the men's doubles. And he's going to play uh, later as well in the men's doubles, so uh, in this uh, semi final today. So he's got uh, his work carved out for him today. Yeah, he has. He's got the, the might of Lian, Liu. Those towering giants to uh, contend with in, at the end of the second session. That's interesting. I'm wondering whether he'll go back to the hotel just to sort of wind down a little in between matches, perhaps. I'm sure he will. Mm. Yeah, the opponent is uh, 193 and 195 this afternoon. They're tall guys. <laughs> they did well against uh, the Malaysian newcomers in the men's doubles yesterday, the towering uh, Lee and Liu. They really did well. Is that so and uh, so cheer, isn't it? Yeah, Aaron so we can uh, Aaron Chia. Mm. But they kept it to together really well. Chinese pair. Oh! <laughs> Terrific defense from Quan. Great little three. block there. Yeah, but that's what it takes. You, you have to be able to play shots like that. If you, every time you're in a situation like this and you lift it, that means that you're not challenging enough. You have to play that shot now and again. And if you don't dare to do it, you're simply not good enough. Service fault from the man at the far end with the heavy strapping all over his right knee. Oh. Double pleasure there on that one, just finding the line. Bolstering the middle nicely, Five, these two. A lot of traffic from these two going the direction of Lee Yinwei. That's uh, the Yunhui is, is really under a lot of pressure here, and uh, 
not the quickest and under pressure in terms of that block shot. Could we get to it? Challenge. Well, if she's found it, it'll bring parity to this opener. Six minutes old, that's all we've been playing. Very competitive semi final two here. On. Yeah, it's a great contrast to the first uh, semi final we saw in mixed doubles, which was so one sided. And this one is in, so the challenge is successful. Served there by Shangnan. But he is not the hardest hitter as well. There's no doubt if you want to beat Sam Siway, the man in the picture here, if you want to beat him, you've got to play a lot of shots below the tape where he's going to take them. If he's playing in a situation like this where he's on the aggressive situation, he's really sharp. He's playing well. As I said, he's not the hardest hitter, but he's very consistent in what he's doing when he's attacking. But when it comes to the defensive situation, playing below the tape, he is not feeling comfortable about it. And that's how you should beat him. Was Lee Yun Wee around the net there? exactly what I was trying to say before. That shot managed to drop just below the tape, and he's going in there, but he's making the mistake because he wants to play that aggressive shot. Well, that was well done from... Juan Yachong. Quick around the net there, quick to intercept this. Look at that, how proactive she was. Got right on top of that one. Yeah, well played. It was the shot prior that got it done for Zheng Siwei. 11 10, they lead at the turn in this opener. And once again, we're in a situation where there's no coaching. Two pairs from the same nation playing one another. So and 
and you'd imagine they'd be pretty handy at it by now, hey? You know, the advice, there's only so many different times that you can hear a similar kind of message, I would guess. But, of course, the coach's role, more you know better than anybody, is to pick up tactically what's happening. And sometimes these players in the heat of competition are kind of blinded by what they don't see very often behind the scenes and, and a coach on looking can pick something that's enough to often change matches around yeah you often see players in what i call denial they do not really accept that they are in a situation they're not accepting that maybe a shot on the day is not working they have to take that shot put it into the toolbox close it and don't use it on the day and uh, you know players sometimes get into denial like that and that's why the coaches are very important outside. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's really good mixed doubles here. Fighting for that initiative. Oh. Going back and forth. Both players playing below the tape quite a lot all at the front court and then this final lift going long on the back line. but this is definitely in favor of uh, Shang Nan doesn't have to move that much hasn't had to put that much energy into it in terms of physical but I must say that Contrary to uh, the women's double situation where the two Japanese players played one another and we don't know whether they're training on a day-to-day -day basis these two players are I can assure you in Beijing they are at the national training all these players in the same place with the same coaches they have played each other day in and day out just seems so unusual that this is their first meeting in competition in all the years. And we have a service for core here. Seng Si Wei faulted his uh, serve struck higher than 115 centimetres. It's impossible for us to see it here because we haven't got that device and all that. So, you know, whether it's higher or lower than 115, we wouldn't know. We're at the mercy of the service judge who do a fine job. Yeah, they, they really say that uh, that device they're using is, is helping a lot, but we are still in a uh, testing period, and that is uh, testing until the end of the year. And then it will be evaluated and a decision will be made whether to you know, continue and what to do and whether this device is the right device or there are other ways of measuring 115 or should we lift or should we lower it and you know lots and lots of I do love the uh, simplicity of it Morton it really does work well I'm a, I'm a fan yeah this uh, the as you say the more simple you can make it the better That was nicely played by Seaway. I don't know if you could hear how sweetly he was hitting it. You could hear that slice in that shot, and that meant how nicely the curve of the shot came, just downwards all the time. And that's something, you know, for us people who have played a lot, you know, we say, oh, that was a nice shot. Loaded with spin and control, right? Yes. Little change up on the speed of that. Would you call that a half smash there? Yeah. It got the job done. Yeah. But cleverly. Mm. Because Return if you go full power, then chance it is coming back twice 30. the speed. But here sometimes mixing it up makes the opponent miss it. That's what we just saw here. Variety is, is really so important on the play. She did. Way out, wasn't it? it was. Oh! See where he was calling it. I hope that doesn't cause a little domestic. 
No, I'm sure it doesn't. Top seeds in red with a slender one point lead. Section. She tried there, get it second that time round. So fifteen apiece. Oh, that was a poor attack by Seaway. Really poor attack. Interception by Ya Chong. We have a challenge on it. I don't know, but did I miss something? I don't know, I didn't see it land, but I, I think I think it was pretty safely in. Yeah, that's if what I'm I honest, feel. That's yeah. was, was was what my initial impression was. That's why I'm saying, did uh, I miss something? Yeah, exactly. So the, the surprised on the challenge, but if that, no, now you're going to have a, the explanation. Yeah. Susan Taylor, what about you, eh? <laughs> no, she's lovely, Sue. She was on the bus with us this morning. Yeah, she was. Lovely, friendly Aussie. And uh, well, hey. We're human, after all. We all make the odd mistake. Yes, yeah, she was lifting the, the left arm, which means that that means referee on to court. So referee start, you know, coming in as a. Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean that. So it was the wrong hand signal. But we still have the challenge. Ah, well, it. See, that's why it took so long because he's not. Nowhere Kelly near the line. Right. <laughs> so Hawkeye so, had to so find it first. <laughs> yes, that's right. So Which one are you talking about? <laughs> Nowhere near the line. No, it was all a tactical oh. uh, challenge. <laughs> Just a chance to buy yourself a few milliseconds more, right? Yeah, trying to find a rhythm, offsetting the others. You know, it's just about regrouping. Both teams have had no more than runs of three. That's how competitive this opening game has been in semi-final two here in mixed doubles. Kinway oh. really put that one nicely away. Isn't he? Yes, I'm telling you, we might see oh. something here now. He can see the light. Two or three good rallies here. Clever play lifting for Ya Chong. Oh. Found the corner of the court there. That was excellent. That was with the backhand cross net. 
Yeah, but this one, yeah. again, you have that slice in it that makes it go really nicely over the top of the tape. So deadlock then at the uh, business end of this opening game. 20 minutes played, still nothing between them. this one here look at this look at this look at this and he gets it yeah, pulling a rabbit out the hat there and that was in timely fashion as the team in black break to the front again 19, so valiant such a long-standing fruitful career from the wiry Jan Nam. Takes his time to add a little scoreboard pressure to the opponents. Oh. Yeah, good play. She's finding that mid-court area I talked so much about. It's, she's playing it downwards. It's not going too long. It's not too short. It's right between the two players. Excellent play here, excellent precision. Setting up two game points for Shang Nang and Li. Clever, he's not going cross court on that smash. He set it up nicely here, but if he goes up cross court, you will see that Lee Hyun Wei might get it back with a straight oh. reply, and then he's completely out of balance. So good, he's keeping it straight. Good serving there by Steven. Oh. Opening game to Jean and Lee then 21 19, 23 minutes played. We were treated to some really compelling points at the back end of that opening game. Okay,那他还有一点。对，他还有一点。对，他还有一点。对，他还有一点。对，他还有一点。对，他还有一点。对，他还有一点。对，他还有一点。对，他还有一点。对，他还有一点。对，他还有一点。对，他还有一点。对
It's a very, Second very game. tight opening game. Level. But it went the, the way of the world ranked 16th Quiet. team in black. Zhang Nan and Li Yinwei. Uh. But the ranking is, is a little bit deceiving because it's just on seven tournaments and you need to get to yeah. the 10. Yeah, that's why I wondered why they were down there on, on, that, on that ranking. Leading these challenges called out. Well, he was hesitant, Jan Nan, at the back end there. He thought about hitting it, but in the end, trusted his uh, initial decision. It served him well. When he goes with his gut, he normally makes great choices. a lucky shot off the train. Oh, oh. Good defense being by Yachu. It's going wide. They want to change the shuttle. But, uh, Yeah, Chung and the Seaway just say, no, it's okay, no trouble. But there's no 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 doubt that uh, Lee Jin Wei is uh, by far the most inexperienced of the four players here on court. And I think she's holding up nicely, she's doing well. Yeah, I would have she's known. A, she's, uh, of course, supported by Zhang Nang, playing good, solid shot, mm. finding Three, the right combinations two. and so on. But again, if you're on the other side, you've got to try to single her out, maybe flick some more services to her, get her out of position at the net and all that. They have to start trying to unsettle that situation. And this is where some people out there are saying that sometimes Seaway is not able to do that, produce that A game when it matters. Well, he went flat and hard at her there. Yeah, yeah, but she was denied any time. Yes, but it was a good, a good choice of shots because he had to see whether she was alert and whether his shot was good enough, and he really forced his way through. And sometimes you have to do that just to stamp your authority a bit on it. here all four of them look at this what a lovely aerial view that is Just get a yeah. good glimpse at how busy they are on the court from a different <laughs> angle we also saw Xiang Nang choosing to play yet another soft shot 
not to unsettle the situation. Yeah, good play. so far, arguably, of the day. A 6-3 second game, how about that? 's when you've got it just where you want it yeah that was an easy kill but uh, lift very short and uh, the in way just missed it and that one is going long with the back line return of serve I think the idea was good, pushing it into that deep, deep corner. And this I like a lot. Suddenly there was this change of situation where Xiang Nang, instead of playing the return of serve and moving back, he stayed in and he played like a, a women's mixed doubles player. And that's a clever, again, change of tactics. And he's very good doing it. He's really strong at the net. So that's mixing up various ways of styles of play. And that's what he's so good at. That's it. Right in the corner. Hitting both lines, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Terrific. And, and, and thank you there. A great explanation to the viewers around the world of what makes Shan Nang so special. We'll be contesting that second uh, men's double semi-final last match on later tonight, session two, not before six o'clock local time here. In the company of Jill Clark and Steve Patterson for that one. Complementing each other, all of these four players so well. Yeah, the one player that really looks to have been losing out in this card game, if you can say that, with all the Chinese mixed doubles players, is actually Liu Kai. Liu Kai lost his partner, uh, Huang Yachong, and since then he's not really been able to make it. So he, he has really lost out in, in that whole situation. Oh, the 
precision of Zhang Nan there was just sublime. Turning defence into attack immaculately. Look at that one there. That set the point up beautifully. So we've been on the cusp of the turn for the last couple of points, but the team in black digging very, very deep to reduce arrears. They are. They, they really are. And it's, it's going to be tough for, for Shang Nan to keep it up playing two events, two categories. When he is having to work this hard in the mixed doubles, of course, the men's doubles as well. So um, maybe he will be forced to choose eventually, or somebody will choose for him. You never know. So 11-9 then, Zheng and Huang break to the front of the turn with a two-point cushion. Thirty-seven minutes, the match has been rolling along for nicely. We've been treated to some terrific badminton. Pretty much every point has been an intriguing 20 watch. This is our fourth of five matches on day six here, semi-final Saturday. Heading towards the climax tomorrow, of course, where the podiums come into view. These players playing to get to tomorrow's title decider fighting with all of their might. And this all-Chinese clash will be the top seeds here in red to find a way through. They're again down, but they are marginally ahead with a two-point cushion in, at the turn here. As we 11, resume. Nine. Play. That was down, but not out, wasn't it? Yeah. But that was really well saved by Seaway. And then the easy shots, as usual, causing a lot of trouble. trouble and now oh, in the driving seat in this rally thinks he way couldn't really capitalize on it eventually it happened but he had his chances without being able to score Zhang Nan immaculate in defense so good at turning these kind of points his way but <laughs> denied in the end <laughs> totally out of balance and still getting it back yeah. is still on Shang Nang and the Inway here. 
14-10 down. But uh, so often in this match, they've been able to close the gap. Of course, we saw the first game, but also here in the second game, they were 8-3 down. And suddenly, it was just 11-9 at the interval. Oh, cleverly played by Shang Nang. Unfortunate for him. It did not go over. That block shot was really nice. Try to have a look at it. Completely. Look at this. Well, he had some hang time on it, didn't he? Yes. Maybe Michael Jordan like. <laughs> we can start timing the seconds. Oh! Yeah, that was a poor finish by Lee. And she suffers the consequences of that. That was a poor finish. And Zhang Nan, I think, a little upset with her, really, and, and that's why he was sort of a little semi-efforted here through the back end of this point. In disbelief that she couldn't get that away, but normally he's so supportive. is playing the best 17, in control 18. attacking I like that Seaway also go straight down the line on his smash is not going cross court all the time as a player from uh, Malaysia champion soon whatever smash he's always going cross court but here he's uh, mixing it up quite nicely <laughs> wonderful block from Lee in week to be straightforward. No surprising miss there by Zheng Siwei. So with a consecutive run of six points behind them, that's the higher seeds in red with the supremacy here and the cushion of seven points. Oh, hey! Brilliant their way through. It's become a familiar feature of late, the Jin Suey power Game smash. Game point, 12. He's been fed that a lot of late. Zhang Nan will be fully aware of that, and his partner as well, trying to turn things around. Yeah. Well, taking the first of eight game point opportunities to square the second mixed double semi final. 21 points to 12. 21 12, one game, all. So we are going to be treated then to deciding and third game it's going to become a one game shootout who's going to come through in this very tight clash we thought it might be and this one really living up to its billing first time these two teams have contested against each other what will
suddenly more than the smash from Jensi Weah has been ever more evident, hasn't it? It's, 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 we've seen it a lot in the last passage. We have, he's been setting up quite nicely by uh, Yachong. I think she's uh, setting it up quite nicely at the net for him at the moment. They are in the driving seat when it comes to initiative, and that initiative he converts into points. Um, I still think that, of course, she's got to be a bit careful. Um, because later on, I am sure that Shang Nang will start challenging him when it comes to play, as I say, below the tape and all that. And that's when he's got to watch out not to be too over eager. Yeah, they had almost a blasé start to game number two, didn't they? Zhang and Li. He was a little not nonchalant or complacent. That's unfair to say. That's doing him a disservice. But will he rouse and bring his very best right here? They certainly have enough to come through this, both teams. But it's who gets off to a good start. Final game. Whoever can really take the net away from the others, I guess. Yeah. But it was close at the mid-game interval. It was like 11-9. So, um, the pair in, in, in black was pretty close. But suddenly, it just uh, slipped away from them. But let's see how it goes here in the third game. Challenge on it, 3 0. Saying then, challenges called out. Well, the beating heart signaling that we're going upstairs again. Review is in progress. Let's take a look. Was it in or out? It was out. Oh, you're right. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> country mile. A country mile, yes. Challenge in Badminton terms. Oh. One challenge remaining. Three, oh. love, play. Oh, oh. 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 flipping the top of the tape. Well played by Lee. Service over, one. Must be such a demeaning position to be in here. She did so well to make this and then they rack it up as if to say, I'll try. <laughs> you always try. <laughs> yeah. You always try. We've seen uh, Victor Axelsen doing it against Lee Chong Wei in one match yeah. where Axelsen was completely outplayed and then just oh. sticking his racket up. Yeah. It hit the racket and then he won the point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know, anything can happen. Always worth a try. Yes, absolutely. That's the message out of that. It's still early ages, Four, stages in this uh, third game. You know, I'm, I'm trying to say something. <laughs> Shang Nan is playing two categories, mixed doubles and men's doubles. If the coaches will allow him to continue playing two, we must be excellent. He cannot just be one in the group. Five, one. If he's just one in the group as, as it looks now, he can just as well concentrate on the men's doubles. However, you can turn it around completely and say, okay, he is probably the best mixed doubles player they have, the most experienced mixed doubles player they have. So, give him the best player. Who would be? Oh, that's the top core. <laughs> that's the top core. You've boxed yourself into a corner there. I did you? that, but uh, <laughs> probably I think it would be Yachong. Yeah, yeah I Yachong. think so. Very, yeah. Although we've seen glimmers of absolute brilliance from Lee there, and that was a good finish from her, but I think you're right. In terms of consistency, of, of uh, female play, I, I think she's been just edgier, hasn't she? Yeah, you can also consider Two, Jen, Jen Jen, you know, bring yes. her back. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Bring her back into mixed yeah, doubles. Yeah, yeah. They have yeah. so many avenues to go. Yeah. It's a, an intriguing yeah, thought. No, it is, very, very. Yeah, yeah I'm with you. Well, well, 
well brought up. Well, is it me? Am I reading this differently? But is Zhang Nan getting a little frustrated with things right now? I kind of sense a little bit of that going on. Uh, he's, I, I would still be on the on the wavelength that he's trying to give advice. Of course, yeah. Straight some energy from the crowd. Can you imagine the majority of the Chinese fans here in Nanjing will be fairly neutral. Both teams from their host nation contesting this. Pressing there with that defensive forehand. Just gesturing to himself. Just soften those hands up, buddy. in red. Yeah, 28, that is a little cruel, isn't it? It is, yes. yeah. it is. But his partner, just so young, at 21. Great experience for her. Good leave from Zheng. Things starting to motor away pretty quickly from these two right now. Then a six-point heady lead for the top seeds. to the mid-game interval, 11-4. Outstanding passage of play. They've really got the momentum now and the bit between their teeth, the red team. Four in a row for them. going on there between those two. <laughs> Shane Nan walks off dismissively. <laughs> I was just about saying it, it doesn't look good, doesn't it? These two planning more of a communicative partnership thing. Yeah, most body language. She's always quite tense looking to me. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, well, it's just the way she is, it's just the way she rolls. Probably not, but inside, you know. Just very she's, best. she's just focused, right? I, I like she, she's prepared to take the chances, and I yeah. think she does it well. Yeah, right. absolutely. No, I'm with so, you. so that doesn't mean playing. that she's too tense about it. Right, right. See that one? Mm. No, very proactive, more so than Lee Yun at the moment. That said, though, this youngster had a good 
run of points in 12 for the second game. Well, the first game, I should say. That was the game that they won, of course. She was very, very good. She's gone off the boil a little, maybe denied a little bit of time on the court. Oh, a little bit of magic on the return from Zhang, but they could get the point their way. Problem for Shanghai oh. is the is attacking skills. We set up really nicely by his partner there. 14, Flipping the top of the tape, get the short lift, but he still cannot finish it. Yeah, but look at Wang there, didn't she do well to turn that round? Two smashes right onto her body, but as you said, not quite enough zing, right? No. Play from Jinxue backing up Wang. They are both playing well simultaneously now. And this deciding game is turning into a little bit of a rout. Yeah, I must say, I will be surprised if this doesn't go the uh, top seats way. 15 4 up. Turn of serve by Yachong. Service over. 16. Play so tight to the net. She's been brave, hasn't she? Courageous throughout. You can't fault that. That's a good play by Shannon. Oh. Yes, um, yeah. It's a casual shot. Service He's played over. down to that deep forehand corner. Six, 16. Somehow it looks like he's given up a bit. So. Let's see. Oh. 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 oh, that's cool. Too high. They don't need that right now. Service over. 17. Oh, I don't think he's too phased about it, to be very honest. He's got another match this afternoon, and this is definitely slipping away. so far in this game to get any more than a solitary point can they engineer two in a row then these guys and get a little bit of a toehold in here in this, this one game shootout for a place in the decidal tomorrow oh, yeah, that should be punished Whoa. how did they get out of that one Yachong really should have finished it Good defensive skills, though, here. Amazing point. I think it's called a thought. It's 18-7. I think she's faulted for playing that shot over the net. Oh, that is just cruel, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, you can hear such an exciting rally. This one here, yeah, yeah. she's fought it. up to the big screen but we have the same picture here and it's not coming in slow motion <laughs> good recovery by Seaway Jiang Nan unsheaths another fresh racket having broken a string 
He'll have plenty of them in his bag with a two-match day on semi-final Saturday. He's up in the men's doubles. Last match up tonight in session two. That'll be the tenth match we'll be bringing you. This the fourth. We've got Chen Long up against Shi Yu Qi. An old Chinese men's single semi-final next. Eight, 18. Chances are we will go into a break after that. Mm. Just uh, helping see where you know, stay cool, stay calm. We got it. Just have to really play it cool. Now Lee Yinwei, very proactive there. That was good. Is it too little, too late? for Zhang and Lee. 19, 10. Top seeds. Two points away from a spot in tomorrow's final. Oh. Make that one point away. 20, match point, 10. through to tomorrow's title decider. A fine match they played, despite losing the opening game. They find a way through and bring their best. Played a terrific third game to get past the tough challenge of Jean and Lee. They played their part in what was a great second semi-final of the next doubles here this afternoon. Stone faced one. A smile breaks across her face just to give us a little bit of an in. She was that little bit more effective in those net situations, really getting involved and very proactive in that regard. And they complemented each other just consistently well. A little better than Zhang and Lee. They'll be back for more, there's no doubting that. But just the other side of an hour, we can confirm that the Doubles, mixed doubles will be an all Chinese affair tomorrow. And just like the women's doubles, yeah, just for a change. <laughs> so there we are then, confirmation of the scoreline. That's how it is. It's Zheng Tsui and Huang Yachong through safely to the final. <laughs>